All right, Asalaamu Alaikum guys. Welcome to this episode of Smile to Jannah. Now, before we begin, this episode is not suitable for kids and it's not suitable if you're a Jew and you get offended easily or if you're a Muslim and you get offended easily. It's of course a battle rap that people have asked me to react to. It is going to be offensive, it is going to be personal and it is, you know, designed to, you know, cut deep. So, if that's you, please click off now before you start going crazy in the comment section. Smile to Jenya. <laughs> you know what rhymes with bar mitzvah? What? Swastika. <laughs> oh. I am Hitler, the real Heimler Kimmler. Huh? Zig Heil to your wife and sister. You've been on two lists your whole life. Mine and Schindler's. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. The first time I said battle me. I asked you to battle me the first time. I asked you to battle me the first time. You said no. The second time, you said no. If you would have flaked this time, it would have been your third right in a row. I said I was thinking. Ooh. You look like you just got caught in a stupid lie. You have a better chance of getting Sasha Cohen to show up here dressed up as Borat in his suit and tie. Because that's the only way this crowd don't get to see another A-Rap get played by a Jewish guy. I'm trying to get y'all to see. I'm trying to get y'all to see. You letting me finish my So go on and recite all the bars you can write about the Holocaust in one night. Call me a kike and a bunch of shit that I'm sure Caustic will like. It's a strong... <laughs> I think it's an inside joke. I'm gonna make me some racist remarks now. Or maybe Iron Saul versus Iron Sheik is what all of you wanted. WWE wrestling. Muhammad Ali versus Ali Muhammad. <laughs> At least he's got a touch of either, right? Your peoples eat pita. You were raised to be making these soft rounds. We ate, we ate matzo when we fled from Egypt and went missing. We're the heat of the desert where the stones were our best kitchen and the food's hard texture. It stemmed from that existence. What I'm saying is going back generations. We bred different. Our, re our religious text gave us ambition. Your clan's missing 2,000 years before Muslims. Our Bible was handwritten. Y'all changed Abraham to Ibrahim and ran with that transcription. The Torah is the OG. The Quran is just fan fiction. Mm. Okay, okay, okay. Solid buzz. Boy, you done picked a bad Jew to attack. You know how many MCs I ran through for a rack? Your integrity's out of whack. Look around the room, faces from everywhere on the map. Our bond is rap, you should honor that. But every card he act like he's serious as a heart attack. But gotta lean on shock value to bring a body back. This... In the background. Uh -huh. I got Palestine inside my bones. I hit you with a rock in your face from a couple kilometers away. That's what I call reaching a milestone. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. No matter how many menorah lamps you have, you'll never hold a candle to the levels of pressure I was born to handle. You know why? Because you don't have no souls or backbones. Bro, you don't even know your past, bro. Real Jews were Hebrews, black men who used to grow their afros. Ooh. You guys are just History. a bunch of random foley, phony Polish afros who forged your passports and don't have a land of your own so you come over and they jack yours but what is it Ooh, all for can't sweat is it you, drilling man. offshore is it the land or do you want more see arabs were peaceful bro you could come into my house i invite you in take the keys to my car the garage door i just want you to feel comfortable at home since you're used to occupying households that are not yours oh. they hate us ever since the world trade got hit and they blamed us with all this bull but what the media don't say is this. How many of your people didn't show up to work that day because they claimed they were sick? Or the, or the Zionist banker who took out the insurance claim and then spit, split, explain to me this, how, how a national tragic event could make your people rich or, or how a bunch of cavemen in Afghanistan could penetrate the world's most sophisticated defense oh. and, have these, and have these monolithic beams that are encased in cement all cut at the precise angle you need a building's foundation to slip. It's because you, it's because you mother orchestrated this Use the media as a tool to blame Mr. Schmidt with. To blame Mr. Witt or blame Mr. Witt, but it don't matter because you blame the desert for taking those plane okay. flights, but it's clear as daylight that you staged that shit. Poo, I like him. Poo. Whoa. You grew Al-Qaeda. You grew Al-Qaeda. You guys are fueling ISIS. This ain't no war on terrorism. This is a Zionist Jewish crisis. A bunch of greedy bankers who have no value for what oh, human life damn. is. If you ever, if you ever see an Arab group of snipers, Ooh. just know that's from weapons that you provided so you can, so, so, so we can, so, so we can kill each other and you can use it as an excuse to crucify us, but not now. Oh, damn. And your Toronto makes them up oh, for disaster and all your That was crazy. That was mad.
But yeah, respect to both of them, they were able to take it. Obviously it's a rap battle that comes with the territory, but that was crazy, man. I don't think anything else needs to be said apart from re respect all cultures, innit? <laughs> obviously, don't do this in real life and that. It doesn't make it okay. These guys obviously respect each other and it comes with the territory, but damn.